call from staff in the past couple of days. Yeah, perfect. Jürgen, congratulations. Thank you. If you bear with me, this might take a while, but Premier League, Champions League, Club World Cup, Super Cup, League Cup, now FA Cup, what tribute would you like to pay to this team? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I know that my team knows exactly what I, what I think about them. Uh, that's the most important. Um, this is, a, again, a trophy for the whole club, of course, for the team, but for the whole club. And we saw before the game already what it means to the people because our hotel is only pretty central. We saw them all um, partying already um, since this morning when we came into the stadium and looked in all the faces, like um, when we went, uh, came with the bus. Uh, you could see what it means to the people. Then you, um, on a pitch with the performance, you saw what it means to the players. So that we could make it is absolutely um, out of this world. It's unbelievable. It's it's massive. It's game number 60 or whatever. And um, in, a, in a very, very intense season and, and putting out a, a performance like this is absolutely incredible. But most important, really most important, I have to say all respect to Chelsea. Uh, what a team. What a, a performance. Um, in the end, we all know penalty shootout is a lottery. That's how it is. But we did it again. We, 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 we worked together with a, with, um, with a company, two guys, well, four guys. Uh, the name is Neuro11. Um, they I got in contact with them a few, few two years ago, I think. Got aware of it, and um, one of them is a neuroscientist. He said he can, we can train penalty shooting. Really, and I said, that sounds interesting. Come over, German guy. We met, we worked together, and this trophy is for them, obviously as well, like the Carabao Cup was. Um, Sadio's penalty is maybe more. For sure, at least 50% my responsibility. Because I you have to let the boys do what they think they do. But with him, I said, you know, he knows you exactly, he, the goalie. So <laughs> do it the other way around. So how very often in my life I realized better, better to shut up. <laughs> but we still made it. And um, yeah, it means, honestly, it means the world to us. Honestly, it is like this. It's massive. It's difficult. It was difficult. You know, the first 25 minutes were the best 25 minutes we played ever against Chelsea. We played an incredible game, um, but we didn't score. And then it's clear that Chelsea, with the quality they have, they find a way back in the game. Um, they did that. But like ups and downs in the game, um, they had their chances. We had massive chances. Didn't use, none of us used them. And so penalty shootout is a logical thing. And um, Doing it like this, this feels good, but gives you more a sense how hard it must be for the opponent, because it would have been extremely hard for us in that moment after 120 minutes and um, losing like this. So honestly, my, 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 my honest respect to Chelsea and what they did. It means this extraordinary quadruple push is still alive. How do they keep doing it at this stage of the season so relentlessly? I look. I said before that the quadruple thing. It's it's absolutely outstanding that we that we have to or can talk about it. It's like crazy. But um, you we sit here now. It's already twenty past nine, if my watch is right, and we play in, on Tuesday night against Southampton. So, <laughs> so I have no clue, really no clue in this moment who I can line up and what we play. So. Um, I think we will have to make a few changes, <laughs> and then we, we we will go there. Southampton last probably I think last home game of the season for them. Um, they don't want to lose the last home game, um, and that will be incredibly tough. So the quadruple is is on if you want, but off as well because of the situation we are in. That's how it is. But that's not important in a moment, to be honest. It's just um, that we that we won now both domestic cups. That that really is special. Really special. That Trent Alexander Arnold is the youngest player ever in this in the incredible history of the Premier League, if I'm right. The first player who won all six major trophies 
at 23. 23. The youngest, yes, not the old, but the oldest, but the youngest. It was madness. And so, so many special stories. Um, and after the game, I said to Thiago, if I would have known what a player you are, I would have signed you four years earlier. I said, you taught me running. I take that. Well, I didn't. That's fine. It's fine. But he could obviously already play football pretty well, but uh, he learned running in Liverpool. That's fine. Um, and um, so many special stories. Jordan Henderson, obviously, and, and these kind of things. It's, 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 really, it's really cool. James Milner. Um, at a quite advanced age, having such an impact in, on a football team. Um, I, I could obviously now name... Like, let me say, we have to change more early which is not cool, but I think it was my decision, it was precaution, more that, yeah, I feel something, I can carry on, I said, yeah, no, maybe it's, uh, a football game is obviously not a, not a perfect um, physiotherapist, it means it rarely gets better during a game. Then, uh, then um, Welch stands with me and says, I feel something, but it's fine, I think, so we make a decision together, so he stays on, but it was clear, when we don't make it in 90 minutes, he have to go off. Then you can bring Diogo Jota and Joel Martip in this moment. That's the best situation I've ever been in as a coach, to be honest. That's absolutely outstanding. That's why we had the chance to go for it. It was difficult. We, we know that. It was lucky. We know that. Um, but we deserved it as well, and that's really cool. Uh, Jürgen, just on Mo... It, I know you don't like your post-match medical diagnosis, but... Um, oh, you try it again? I'll try it again, yeah. So if you could, just anything you know about his injury and also whether Virgil's... Whether, did he come off with an injury? Or? Obviously, I spoke to both already after the game. Both are, are really okay. So um, all that we know is um, it's not a big thing. We, we really came through. But the next game is on Tuesday, and that's um, obviously <laughs> pretty quick. So. Um, yeah, no, uh, I think they both will be fine, but not, uh, maybe, maybe, we have training tomorrow morning, <laughs> so then they tell me, I feel completely fine, I would be surprised, but I would take it, and then we have to go from there, um, so we will see. Uh, Jürgen, you just said there that football is not a physiotherapist, but is it a, a psychotherapist in that, had you lost that game, we'd all be talking about injury, affecting the squad, exhaustion, but... The victory must have a kind of a transformative effect now. It does. The best, the best, the best physiotherapist is actually winning football games, to be honest. Um, and winning this football game is fantastic as well. I mean, Robbo had a cramp, so that's obviously normal and completely fine. I was surprised that not more players had cramps, to be honest, um, after what we had to, to do tonight. Um, and it's... Yeah, yeah. On, honestly, if, so you don't never know before you before you are in a situation. You never know exactly how how big it feels, and it feels ma it feels massive. I cannot believe it. It feels massive. I have only one problem um, that we cannot really celebrate it because we play on Tuesday. <laughs> and think, how can you do that? Such a fantastic competition, such a fantastic occasion, and then you limit the celebrations. Okay, obviously not for the people; they can do what they want, but for the for the team, um, by putting in a game on Tuesday so but come on um, it's like it is and um, yeah from here we go I have no idea um, what we can do but tomorrow morning I have more, I get, probably get more information about that and then we will see um, uh, hello Jürgen hi um, congratulations on the win thank can you can I ask you about um, Luis, Di uh, Luis Diaz's performance because he was man <laughs> of the match so I'm sure you got a few words to say on that what a boy, what a story, what a player, but he should have scored. And I think we agree, he agrees probably. So like the, 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 the speed he has is insane. Eh? So like brought him in a, not to forget, he played on the side, with, on the side of Chaloba and Reese James. Um, and getting in a situation like this is absolutely unlikely. The, the, the big chance at the first half, I think it was a pass from Trent. Was it? We want. We can talk about his performance as well. By the way, um, and yeah, he should have scored in that moment. With his quality, that's how it is. But what a player! He's outstanding. He's a fantastic boy. He, <laughs> no, it's so funny. So we we hug each other after the game, or we always just shout "bamos" and 
Carayo and whatever the few words I know in, in similar languages, and it's 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 so funny. Um, but he he gets our our football one hundred percent. We we thought we saw that at Porto, um, but that it really is like this is 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 is, is uh, I feel lucky as well to be honest. Um, he is in a he fits like a club to our to our football and that's really really special hi Jürgen. Uh, congratulations hi. firstly thank you um i was just wondering where you rank this team amongst kind of the greatest teams that you've seen um in your time obviously taking man united's yeah. treble winning team in 99 or arsenal's invincibles i was wondering where you see this team obviously quadruple still on, like you said, or off. Um, so I was just wondering where you see this team. Ah, I don't have to make these these decisions, and, and and I don't have to judge this, and I don't have to um, to think about that. Other people have to do that. I I, I couldn't care less. To be honest. I enjoy the moment with these boys. I really enjoy it. We are so incredibly close with each other and with our with our fans. It's a it's a pure joy to be part of this of this um, club in the moment, and. Um, a lot to come and a lot to play for. We all know that. But for tonight, I decided I take I take that um, and just enjoy this moment and don't think about the next challenge we are facing. And um, because it's it's really special, it's really special. Imagine how you now think yourself like twenty years ahead, and then you look back and you say you will say, yeah, Jordan Henderson probably is then a pundit, or maybe not even a pundit anymore, because you always thought that makes no sense anymore. So in 20 years and anything, yeah, he's the captain of of the only Liverpool team so far. Hopefully not the only, because maybe we can do it again, which will, will be completely ridiculous. But he was the first captain who won all four trophies, as an example. Um, the trend story, all these other stories, um, where Virgil van Dijk was, Six years ago, stuff like this in his career, where he thought, where well, we go up, and now he, 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 the player he is, all these kind of things. When we go five years back, Ibu Konate played probably in the U16 of whatever team in France. Um, and, and, and now we are here for this moment. We, we don't finish, it's just now for the moment, a little bit, a little reflection, but we don't have to decide where this team ranks. And I, don't, I, I know a few players of these teams, but I cannot say how they played. But I'm pretty sure in the time, they, in the time when they played, they were the best teams. Um, but meanwhile, we know so much more about, about training. We know so much more about sports science, all these kind of things. That's why these boys are obviously much fitter than the, 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 the former generations were. Nothing to do with football talent or whatever. If the players from the past, like Rashi or Kenny, if they would have been trained like the boys are trained today, imagine that. That would have been crazy. Um, so it's all good for the moment. We don't stop here. We just take the time to enjoy it for a few minutes. Um, Jürgen, congratulations. Um, you said earlier the quad is on. It's also off. But but do, do you get the feeling that if there is one group of players that can do it, it's this group, such is the spirit in the camp? So I'm not 100% now in the subject, but let me say it like this. I think it's... Uh, uh, um, City is in this moment, right, three points up. And what is it, seven goals? Seven? Six, seven. Nobody knows here. You are really interested in quadruple. Thank you very much. Yeah, so so but let me say five or six goals. So and now they've been tomorrow, with all respect to West Ham. I, of course, West Ham can win against City. That's a massive game. But they've been tomorrow 4 nil. Then it's six points, right, before we start at Southampton and 10 or 12 goals. Huh? Yes. So um, then we have to win both our games. They have to, they have to lose a game, and we have to. Uh, yeah, so it's 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 silly, right? So let's just see what tomorrow happens. If they if they lose against West Ham, then I start thinking. If they if they don't, then we will judge that, and we'll go from there. So um, so far this se this Premier League season, the second part of it. My boys drew against Chelsea, against City, against Tottenham, and won all the other games. Okay, two to come. Obviously, we don't know what, what will happen. It's an in, 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 insane part of the season. It's an insane second part of the season. 
if it's not enough in the end, we have to congratulate city, and that's how it is. And then we will, and then we go from there, and we'll try it again, and these kind of things. But we cannot. We we we, we drew twice against city, so yeah. So we didn't lose points there. We lost them somewhere else. So we have to we have to make sure that next year we drew we either we beat them or draw again against them, and then we win other more other of the other games. That's the situation. Or but we came from a season last year where nobody thought. I'm 100% sure in this room nobody thought, apart from me maybe, that we can go again like we did this year. And that we could do it is all because the character of these players. The only reason. Because I can say whatever I want, I can motivate as much as I want. If these boys don't listen, if these boys are only a little bit distracted by whatever, um, or, or, or get weak or soft or whatever, in this moment, you don't have a chance in this league competing with Manchester City. And um, so we will see what it means. But today is FA Cup and we won the game. And um, we obviously have the medal, a wonderful T-shirt. And um, that's enough for the moment. And we fly home. That's good as well. So thank you very much. See you.